Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're playing some Infliction. Let's get it. Hi baby, I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Have a good look around and let me know. Love you. See you soon. End of message. To delete this message. is happening from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea other cases like I don't know but I know that car looked like it was fucked up never been fully resolved Ooh, I have a nice house again into this bizarre case we'll update you as the story progresses oh boy that's just throwing us right in it's so dark, oh my god. Yo, this is like super dark. I'm kinda scared. Which, I mean, makes sense. It is supposed to be a scary game. Lights aren't working. Doors locked. Okay. Another key somewhere. Anything in the refrigerator? Oh. Ugh. That is disgusting. Close that. I bet it stinks. I'm just saying, but that does not look that safe to me. I mean, to each their own, I guess. That door's locked also. Are the keys in the car? Can't look in there. May I have to break into a window? Can I turn on the water? Nah. open. Close that back. Don't let no intruders. Good versus evil. Look at the puppy. What is it? Wow, nice rafting skills. Oh my god, a puppy. I can't believe you did this. I love her. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. That almost looks like 
the dog that I have in real life. I mean, I have two. And their names are Rex and Charlie. And that looks like Charlie, but this is a little bit smaller. Oh. Uh, before we, before we get too far into this, I'm gonna let you guys know I am not good with scary games, at all. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm looking for plane tickets. I guess. This is a really nice house. Oh, so cozy. Do you, Sarah Angel Adage? Take Gary Ryan Powell to be your lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Until death do you part. I do. Okay, so where's my wife? This reminds me of P PT. This reminds me a lot of PT. What was that? God. Friday, June 4th, 4 15 p.m. changing the code to your security door. All you need to do is enter the code, follow the steps I told you on the day I installed it. I wrote the code on the back of my business card. If you have any problems, call me during business hours and I'll be happy to walk you through it. Thanks. It's Mike. All seeing I see well that doesn't look good can I use the phone okay I've been here can I pick up a pin for a weapon I really do not want to go upstairs, like even in the slightest. Oh man, this is so scary. We have a baby. Do we have a baby yet? Or yeah, yeah. There's drawings on the on the refrigerator. Okay. God, it's so dark. Ugh. Why have you not been using it? Yeah, can I pick that up? Can't use it. 
What about toilet paper? Can I use? Nope. Jesus Christ! Such a nice house, but oh, the sounds. Oh, and I am using a new mic. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Hopefully it's a lot better. It should be a lot better. Because I was just using like a normal headset. This is like, you know, a, a real mic that I should be using. Oh, it's a baby monitor. I thought it was a, like, a walkie-talkie. <laughs> what does that sound? Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh no, please, you better not have hurt my dog. Whatever you are. Zero five one six. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, nothing serious yet. Except for all the blood. What was it? Zero five one six. Please don't be anything scary behind this door. Okay, it's my office, I guess. My painter? Holy shit. Is that the plane ticket? Yes. Uh oh. That does not sound good. Can I just like rush out of here? Oh shit. Yo, I'm getting some serious chills. Hey, uh, what, what are you doing? What's with the mask? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, so there's an intruder. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, this is when the game gets scary. Shit. Oh man. Oh, this is oh my god. Oh. Alright, I know, I know where the garage is. I'm thinking about just booking it. Shit. What happens if I open this door? Oh, it's locked. Oh, I don't have a... Where's my flashlight? Oh, I, I do have a flashlight. Why is it so dark right there?
No. Oh my god. Open the door. Let me into my baby. Alright, we're going downstairs. Screw this. How do I get back to the garage? Oh, it's so dark. Oh, no, not this way. Oh, I was blocked off. Didn't this lead back to the garage? This is where it wants me to go. Oh, there's my car. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell? Fucking floor it, boy. Am I the killer? Oh, I... W I was the one that hit the tree a minute ago. I'm stuck at the gate. You know, we just the two of us in here. See you soon. What the hell's happening? I'm stuck in here again. Find a way to vanquish the spirit. We got some sage in this bitch. I don't know if that shit actually works, but we're going to find out. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is in a laughing time. Okay. We got to figure out how to get rid of this scary motherfucker. Oh, this was locked. He was in here earlier. Oh man, I do not like this. What's that? Thimble Park. Ooh, looks like they have some spaghetti. And I wish I was just having a good time eating spaghetti right now. Not trying to vanquish a spirit. So scary. Oh shit, it actually opened. That's still a disgusting toilet. This was open a minute ago. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, that thing is swinging. Dude, every time I see something, in this, my, like, I get like chills go all the way down my body. Jesus Christ, that's like the freakiest doll I've ever seen. Yo, this is really well made. This is like actually scaring the living bejesus out of me. I don't want to go downstairs yet. We are going to wait on that. Went to my bedroom. Is that blood or is that just the wood texture? I can't close. Okay. I think it's just the wood texture. I think I was wrong before. I wish my character turned faster. I mean, in real life, I'd be like, choo, choo. you know what I mean? I was like, oh, I can't just jump off the balcony. That'd be so much better. Why should I have to vanquish the spirit? Oh, I really thought that post right there was that guy. Or the spirit, I should say. Oh, I don't like. 
like that. Getting those chills again. Alrighty then. I can open all this stuff now. I am so scared right now. No, what happened to her picture? Where's the answering machine? Yo, this is exactly like PT. But only, well, not exactly. But pretty damn close. I don't want to go there. What was that? What the fuck? Dude, that sounded like, oh my god. Sound like it's like right on my neck. Can I take the knife as a weapon? Of course not. Okay, how? What is that? The radio. Turn it off. I don't like that. I want to be able to hear what I'm doing. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like scary games. And here I am. I don't even like scary movies. Ooh, what kind of cereal we got? Frosted things, sugar plops, puffed corn, some cracker jacks, chips, chips, salt, hot sauce. Okay, anyways, we're not looking at food right now. Can, can I try on, can I do some can I do some dishes? Take that. Turn that back off. I don't want to run the water bill up. Alright, how am I supposed to vanquish this thing? What is this? Computer? Oh, no, it's a, like a griddle thing. Anything good? Ooh, some water malone. Yo, I got pizza, some hamburger, some hamburgers, a chicken sandwich. Man, this making this game making me hungry. What was that noise? Was it this closing? Okay, I thought it was somebody clapping. Scared me half to death. God, I hate it when. Stop clicking. Oh, I don't like that. Turn on the light. None of the lights work. Fuck. My thoughts are dark, black as night. Life is sparse. Sparse. A total. Total absence of light when it's all over. Come find me there. Come find me there. A broken soul. I belong nowhere. Hmm. June hmm. 6, 1999. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. And the beatings are getting worse, and I'm running out of excuses. I'm so tired. The lady next door came over yesterday. She must have heard something. She urged me to call the police, but I just can't do it. I love Gary so much. He's never gotten over Michael leaving us, and he blames me. 
<laughs> Maybe it is my fault. All he does is drink. Locked in that basement day and night reading those weird books. He's so unhinged now. What do I do? Can't abandon him. I know Gary's in there somewhere and I'll be right here when he surfaces again. Fuck, this is so hard. I have to stay strong for him. Okay. Well, number one, for you guys watching, if you guys are in this, like, same scenario where, you know, you really love the person you're with and they're beating you and all this other stuff, I know it's not as easy as it sounds and it's a lot easier said than done, but get out of that scenario as fast as possible. Because I know it's hard to hear, but... As much as you love them, they obviously don't love you the same if they're beating you. Anyways, back to the game. Oh, shit. Stop it. Stop it. Give me some. What the fuck? No, my flashlight went out. No. Dude, let me out of here now. Oh my god, that's it. Chills all the way down my body. I'm probably going to be saying that a lot in this. Oh my god. Well played. Jesus. Okay, so I think I need to go down to the basement because it said that he was reading books down in the basement. <laughs> Shit. What did it say? Hello? Can you help me? One second. 911, what is your emergency? I can't hear him. Are you in need of medical assistance? It's just me. I need you to stay still. I'm dispatching a patrol car and ambulance to your location. He's still in the house. I can, I can hear him. Help will be there in 30 seconds. Please stay with me. Are you still there? Hmm. Okay, now it's gonna happen. I know something's gonna happen after that. Is that door gonna slam shut? Okay, no. Where's my car? Shh. God damn it. Yeah, I need to find a key. Can I break it with this? No. There. Damn, don't mind if I do. Shit. Right now, I think I need one a lot worse than whoever beer that is. like a uh, stranger things the upside down hey I got a trophy mirror mirror oh I don't like this how do I get back there let's move everything piece by piece oh okay that's much easier Shit. What the 
Spells contained within this book are your pathway to power beyond your human ability to imagine. For once you to learn the intricacies of wielding such power, the book and the rices within will no longer be needed. Your body and soul will become a conduit for the darkness. Dark power and energy will be transferred through you into an object or focused on a task. You will give directions to those energies their agent on this plane of existence and that does not mean this book should be taken lightly its contents are dangerous and should always be treated with respect to, com to commune with the dead one must open their mind to the ghostly fields of the eternal a, thr a thrill the world of the specters and the world of flesh are separated by a thin veil held only by a faith and a false idol. Once you give yourself over, you will stand astride both worlds. This alone is not enough to speak the specter. You'll simply be open to it. The rise of scripture will need to be performed. I think that said right. Be performed before you can summon the specter to you. Be warned, death does not care for you or your aspirations. Performing such rituals is forbidden in most cultures. For this reason, an Earth's lifetime is but a passing shadow in the face of eternity. Keep this in mind when you summon the dead. Son of a bitch. Ritual of sacrifice. This ritual is often used in conjunction with other rituals to com complete a rite. A rise or I don't know what that is. It's kind of hard to tell. First, you will need to find a living creature. Any creature will do, but the larger the creature, the more effective the ritual. Face south and chant Etheria Mididero Tala and the Mam Repeat these words for the remainder of the ritual. Drain the life from the creature into a receptacle until it has crossed over. Drink every last drop. This concludes something of sacrifice right of scripture the ability to commune with the dead is an unasural this right will require an individual to display their loyalty and understanding to the ether ethereal for the ritual is a trial and will leave the individual bereft I don't know what that means. A soul must be stripped before it can be reshaped. This rite involves several other rituals and will not be easy. First perform the ritual of sacrifice on every blood moon. You will do this until contact is made. Contact will often not be from the dead or from the one you wish to speak with at first. Post contact, your earthly belongings will become anchors. Tethering the dead to you, you must source some objects that don't know what that says. Something Spectre. This ritual pr proves loyalty to the dark and sp spurns the light. It requires the decoration, desecration of false idols and is often used in conjunction with other rituals. To complete a rite it, and performing this ritual, you bring yourself closer to the beautiful dark, smelt six relics that pr represent the false idol. The relics should be composed of precious metals. Once complete, melt the relics down and smith the metal into an inverted symbol of the false idol. Perform the ritual of sacrifice and imbue the object with dark energy. Repeat this step many times until you can feel a resonance. You now have a cursed object, a link between the darkness and the mortal plane. It is best served by being placed in the possession of a false idol dev devotee. Angry spirits are born in violent death. These souls are bound to the world of flesh until they are ready to let go of their retri retribution or have achieved it. 
there exists one ritual that can be performed by the one to which the spirit is bound. The ritual can be performed in the world of specters or flesh, but must be performed by the one directly responsible for the demise of the angry spirit. It will open the way to where the spirit truly belongs, offering peace. To complete the ritual, you'll need to gather the following objects belonging to the angry spirit. Body of the deceased, any part of the remains. Image of the deceased, clothing worn in the eyes of God, an object of ancestral significance. <laughs> Once collected, cleanse the objects with fire and spread the ash over the sides where they, over the site where they were slain. And that is it. Sorry guys, I'm not the best reader. That's for oh fuck. Alright, well, anyway guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. If you do want me to play this again, please leave a comment down below. Like the video if you thought it was any good. And I'll see all you guys in the next one.